everybody. Welcome to Fiber Fun with Olivia. My name is Olivia. I am a crocheter and knitter. I like to geek out on fiber, yarn, anything yarny related. I hope you do too. Welcome to another episode of Whip Sips and Fiber Fun Chitter Chatter. What is today's sip? Okay, you guys, I pulled out my Valentine's mugs. I don't know if you can tell. I'm kind of a little bit of a, of a mug collector, and I see a lot of us on YouTube, and we're sipping on our stuff, and I love it. I love to see other people's mugs because I like mugs too. I like um, iced coffee tumblers. Those are my fave, and my favorite are from Starbucks, of course. I don't like the super bulky ones, but I love like how they can be sparkly and colorful anyway. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm just excited that I pulled out my February mugs and put away my holiday ones. Um, so I am drinking some tea today. The tea that I am drinking, I will share with you. I had not tried it, and so I'm gonna try it here live. <laughs> this tea is from a shop we have in the San Francisco Bay Area. This tea, this shop is in the East Bay and I had been wanting to check it out for quite some time. I finally did. It is called Oaktown Spice Shop and they have a, all kinds of neat spices, teas, and just, oh my God, it is so much fun to walk in there. So anyway, um, I decided to try out the Citrus Hibiscus Twist Blend of Iced Tea. Let me show you what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Now, I started drinking tea, I think, I'd say probably um, a couple of years ago. I never liked tea before, especially growing up. I wasn't a big tea fan, but I don't know, something happened and I got into iced tea and then that slowly led me into the hot teas as well. Um, and one of my favorite teas is hibiscus tea. So I decided to try the citrus hibiscus and let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. So the combination of the hibiscus and citrus makes it tart. Ooh, that's yummy. I was afraid that I'd come in with really high expectations because I love citrus and I love hibiscus. It, it, it's good. It's good. I love it. So today I want to share two whips, works in progress. Um, no finished objects today. I'm really close. I'm really close to finishing one up. I'll share in a moment. Um, I also want to share a yarn order that I placed and have now received. And I want to share another purchase that is fiber related, but it's not yarn. So let's jump in. Oh, and there is a third thing. I want to share something that is yarny, fibery related. It's personal to me. That's a little bit different for me. So I'll share that at the end. Okay, so let's jump into the works in progress. My first work in progress is my second make along um, project. And if you're not a part of the make along, what are you waiting for? You have until February 15th. That's when our make along ends. It did start on January 1st. I'll put the hashtag here below and I will link my uh, Happy New Year video in the description box below so you can go look at the details about the make along. There are only two rules. One, the yarn has to be in your stash already because we're stash busting y'all. <laughs> And two, the pattern has to be in one of your uh, magazines that you already own, a book in your personal library, in your Google Drive, or in your Pinterest folders, but basically you already have access to this, this pattern. The goal is to stash bust and to, you, to make patterns that we've been wanting to make and we keep saving them or we keep purchasing them in books and magazines and we, and we don't make them. So yeah, so join our make along. You still have some time. I made it a point to make it a six week long make along. Why? I'm always mentioning on here that I have a full time job and um, so my time is limited, but I love crocheting and knitting. And, and so every chance I get, I dedicate it to that whether it's looking up patterns, actually crocheting or knitting, making videos for this YouTube channel. I just enjoy it so much. It makes me so happy. I know that if you are a part of this Fiber Fun Familia and you come back to visit over and over or you visit other of my YouTube buddies, it makes you happy too. So thank you for being here. So yes, join us for the make-along and um, it should be more fun. So yeah, 
link for that video with the details in the description below. Let's jump into my second make because I already talked about my first make. I did finish my first one. I was surprised and I was so excited. Um, if you didn't see it, go check out my prior video because it was in last week's video. But this is my second one. I'm going to show you the pattern. It's called Fringy DK. This is a purchased pattern. Um, and I bought it some time ago. So I've had it saved in my computer for a while. So it was in my library. I didn't purchase it recently. This was purchased a while back. And I had been wanting to use some of my yarnable yarns I showed you in a prior video. Or if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the yarn there too. So this is what I have. And um, this yarn was from the October yarnable box. And the theme was the Raven. I love that they put pink with black. And it's like this speckled yarn. I loved it. I, I, I love pink. I love pink. I keep saying that. Um, and I thought I would use that and see how this has an accent on both the fringe and then when they seam it up. I thought I would do that with my yarn from the Lopsided Crafter. I haven't started on that, but that is what I have left to seam it up. And so it's going to be seamed up at the bottom then you open it up like this and you put the fringe and so technically it goes on here now this is coming out a little bit thin um so it's probably not going to even be for me and that's okay because i did mention that this year because i'm de-stashing and because i'm making projects that i just enjoy making even if i'm not going to use them um I'm going to make them. I'm going to gift them. I'm going to like put them for Christmas gifts or I don't know. I'll figure it out, but I'm not going to stop myself from making those fun makes and from de-stashing beautiful yarn for beautiful patterns that I find that I like. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm excited. I'm almost done with this. I'm almost done. So that's my first whip work in progress. By the way, I didn't mention it, but as always, I'm going to link the patterns in the description box below in case you're interested. Let's take another sip of that yummy tea. Yeah, that's yummy. Mm, 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 mm. It's so flavorful. I did put a little bit of honey in it, so yum. I have a sweet tooth, and even though I'm trying to reduce my sugar intake, I need just a little bit. <laughs> okay, my second work in progress is related to what I was going to share at the end, so maybe I'll share it now instead. I have been crocheting since I was about eight years old. My mom taught me and I'm 53 now, so I've been crocheting for a long time. I've been knitting since my 30s. Um, crocheting definitely comes way more naturally to me. It's easier for me, but I love knitting. I do have to concentrate a little bit more, and I know I've shared this information below, but the reason I'm sharing it right now, again, is because I have always crocheted and knit for fun. I've never done it to sell. A lot of friends, a lot of family members tell me, you should sell your items, especially my husband. He's like, you really should. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to sell. I'm not going to sell. Because then that'll make it more like of a chore, like a job. Um, and also, I don't like making things over and over. I like making new patterns all the time. And so I've always said, mm, 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 that, mm, mm, no, this is my hobby. I'm not going to sell it. <laughs> well, that might be about to change. The reason why is because last weekend, um, I like to see my Facebook memories. Does anybody else like to see their Facebook memories? It's so fun to see stuff from a few years back and you're like, oh, on this day I was doing this, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, I saw that a few years back, I had created, a couple of years back, it was during the pandemic, I created a, an album, a photo album for my makes. And so I had uploaded some pictures and I was like, oh, let me see what I was making back then. And so I thought it was really cool, and I'm like, oh, I should put some updated ones. I don't know what possessed me. I don't know. I, I, you know, I just thought it would be fun to update some pictures in that album. So I updated some more recent ones so that I could look at them and then maybe get the Facebook memory. Maybe subconsciously I was thinking I'll get the Facebook memory like a year or two. Well, what happens when you upload pictures to your Facebook page, or I didn't mean to upload it to the page, but to your to your albums, 
everybody sees them, right? And so everybody was like, oh my God, this is so pretty. And although that felt really nice, that's not really why I did it. I just, I was doing it kind of more, more for myself. But um, a lot of my friends and family members were like, oh my God, Olivia, can I get one of these? Oh my God, this and that. And at first I was like, ha ha ha, funny. Thank you guys, I mean, you guys know, blah, blah, blah. This is my hobby, you know. There was one woman who privately messaged me and she said, Olivia, can you please sell me this one? And, um, and I said, you know what? I actually gifted that one, but you know what? I can make you, I can make you uh, another one with some other yarn that I have. That was a really quick make. It was fun to make. And she's like, I'll pay you. And I really didn't want to take money from her, but in the end, I'm like, you know what? Let me try it. Let me try it and make some, you know, a few items. But at least if I can get money back to re, you know, to do more yarn shopping, hey, maybe it's a win-win. So I agreed and all of that to share my second whip with you, my second work in progress. Uh, the pattern is, what is it called? Fold down triangle fringe cowl by Franken Stitching and this really doesn't have good pictures. Nope. I usually don't print out the pictures because it uses more of my printer ink, but I'll put some somewhere and it will definitely, the pattern will definitely be linked down in the description box, but it's a cowl and it's, it's lovely. And I did gift one, you know, the one, the one I gifted and I'll show a picture over here, um, of the person wearing it. So anyways, let's get to the, to the make, shall we? So this is what I have so far. And I've just last night connected it because it started off as a triangle. And then, you know, you have the triangle and then you connect the, and then you keep going you to make the top part. So this is actually going to fall here. And then you start making the cylinder, which is going to scrunch down and be your your neck cover. And so this is it it's gone very quickly i'm using is it a j hook yes i'm using a j hook and the yarn i'm using is karen marble cakes this is it's it, i've used up quite a bit you can't really tell because it's falling to the inside but it's kind of empty but hopefully you can still get an idea it has um some blue it's kind of like a teal like a dark teal it has some grays it has some purples and um so i sent the woman a picture i said i have this ball of yarn that's kind of similar to the other one but it's not the other one and she's like oh my god sold i love it <laughs> she already wanted to like send me money and i'm like no, no 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 i felt so uncomfortable i'm like no let me finish it and then i'll reach out to you um, so yeah, so, and you can kind of see, let me see if I can, yeah, you can kind of see the colors. I'm really happy with, you know, I, I'm, I haven't been co color controlling, but, um, so I really like that this ended up being the purple part. And then at the bottom where the fringe is going to be, you know, this, where the fringe is going to go, you, you got a little pop of blue and then that blue also connects up here. So it's going to be at the base here. So. Um, she did ask me to make it a little bit bigger because she said she is plus size and um, I'm plus size. So I figure if it fits me, it'll probably fit her. I think she's slimmer than me. She calls herself plus size, but I think I'm more plus size than she is. So anyways, I'm, I'm really happy because I'm making this. It's been such a quick make. I'm using up yarn and, you know, it feels weird to be selling it. But I've told myself, you know what? Think about it in terms of you're going to get money back. To go yarn shopping so that's what i'm going to tell myself even though i feel kind of funky selling it right so i might start selling stuff y'all <laughs> i don't know we'll see how it goes and and if i don't it's okay i'm gonna keep on crocheting and knitting but you know maybe some of the items that i said i wouldn't stop myself from making because i still enjoy making them maybe i'll put pictures of those of those and and say you know these are available so um yeah we'll see so that is my second work in progress let's take another set Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I want to share some yarn that I purchased. Is it upside down? It probably is. Um, I actually already opened it. I meant so I filmed this video before you guys. 
and I filmed it in that slow-mo process. <laughs> Don't ask me how. I was so happy. I was, you know, I was downloading the, the, the video into my computer so that I could start editing. And then I see myself going like this. <laughs> super slow so I recorded on the wrong setting so hopefully today it will be okay but so I already opened it uh, but that's okay I'm gonna share this video or this video this yarn that I got from stitching with yarn let me put her card up if you don't follow her on Instagram you might not want to because it might be dangerous <laughs> Just kidding. No, follow her. Follow her. She's really kind and she has beautiful yarns. And um, I couldn't help. I couldn't help this Valentine yarn that she posted. She posted the fingering weight one, actually. And I reached out to her via Instagram and messaged her and said, are you going to have any DK weight by any chance? And she said, actually, I'm dying that right now. And I'm like, oh, my God. And so she let me know when she when she put this on her Etsy shop and I immediately bought a couple of Hanks. Oh, I just I, I love pink, you guys. I love pink and I guess I love with black, but really pink with anything. I just I love it. But I'm really loving this Valentine's Day, like all these sets. There's another set coming. It's called an Advent set that I purchased from what are they called? I can't remember, but it's coming. It's coming and I'll share it with you. It was a moment of weakness. I might have another moment of weakness this Saturday because there's another Valentine's set coming out. Ah, I'm gonna go broke, I'm gonna go broke. See, this is why I need to sell more items <laughs> to replenish. So anyways, um, and then, Oh, I should, I should probably tell you, so the shade color of this is Be Mine because it is a Valentine-themed um, yarn. It is a DK stripe, which is 100% superwash merino wool, 246 yards, and this is a hand wash, cold, lay flat to dry, and she puts little stitch markers on her skeins, you guys, and so you get these really cute stitch markers. I have ordered from her below before and um, my daughter my teenage daughter took the stitch markers because she liked them she's like they're so cute and I'm like hey <laughs> you don't even knit you don't you don't crochet and she's like but they're so cute and so I think she has them on her I don't know if she has them on her backpack or what but anyways yeah so um so I need to start hiding <laughs> no I'm just kidding but I think that's a really cute thing to do to put little stitch markers on there and um yeah, here so. I am trying to use up and de stash pink, and here I am getting more pink yarn, right? Oh, well. <laughs> so, and, and not only that, it's really soft for wool. I mean, it's it's soft. Like, I could totally use this. Um, I'm, I'm a yarn snob, and I have to have softness. I love making cowls and scarves, so it has to be, like, I have to be able to use it here. Um, yeah, this is, this is soft, so, yeah. I recommend. <laughs> okay, so the last item I have to share with you is a yarny purchase. It's not yarn, but it is fiber related. And this I blame on Julie the Whippy Chick, who is a YouTube buddy here. Um, go visit her if you haven't. I'm sure you all are already subscribed to her. Uh, but if you're not, I will link her down below. Um, this month she's doing um, shorts and every day. Um, for the month of January, she has been sharing tips on how to store your yarn. And she has some really cute ideas. So, um, yeah, go check her out. But anyway, so um, I think it was last month, maybe two months ago, she had a video and she was talking about a pom-pom maker by Clover. And she also did the tutorial on how to make pom-poms. And because in my first make... For the make along the hat that had little pom-poms i tried to make those on my own and i wasn't too ecstatic about how they came out and i'm like i'm gonna have to cave for these clover pom-pom makers julie was talking about so i ordered two sets because i'm crazy like that when i really get into something i'm like i have to have every size do i need every size no <laughs> But I had to try every pom-pom size. And so I got this set on Amazon. It has four of them. 
and I already tried this one. What are the sizes on here? One and three eighths of an inch, which is 35 millimeters. One and five eighth inch, which is 45 millimeters. This is the size uh, of the pom pom maker. Um, the third one is two and a half inches or 65 millimeters and three and three eight eighths of an inch or 85 millimeter pom-pom size. So I tried the second biggest, which is the one and five eighths inches or 45 millimeter. And um, it's pretty cool. If you guys wanna, um, I recommend you go see Julie's video. But I, this was really new for me. Like I was like, whoa, that's so cool. Like it comes apart and it's just, it's really neat. It's really neat. So anyways, I made the pom-pom pom -pom with uh, the leftover yarn that I had from my first make. And it's not perfect, you guys, but if you have colorful yarn, oh my God, I recommend making pom-poms. Uh, because it was what I had left over, I did run out of yarn. I, I just used up what I had. And so it could have been a little bit more denser. That's what I learned right away, that probably the more you put on this thing, the denser that pom-pom will be. Uh, but still, I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to make more. Oh, and so remember I said, because I go crazy and I have to have every size, so I got this set. And then I got this one. I, I, I must have blanked out because I thought it was different sizes, but actually these two are in here. So guess what? We're gonna add this to the giveaway at the end of the make-along. So I forgot to mention when I was talking about the make-along, but it's in all the details for the make-along are in that first video, my Happy New Year video. But everybody who's joining in the make-along, the, um, the make-along ends on February 15th. Well, by February, by February 16th, you have to email me a picture of your finished make-along item and, um, each person who submits a picture will be entered into a drawing and I'm gonna choose some yarn for my stash. I don't know, maybe it'll be one ball, maybe it'll be two balls, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but it'll be a surprise and I'll send it to you, whoever is drawn. We might do a second drawing. What do you think? I think we'll do a second drawing. Um, or should it be one drawing and just put it, put it in the comments? Should I make it one drawing and they get the yarn and this? Or should I give two people an opportunity to win? One will win the yarn and one will win. Put it in the comments down below. Um, yeah, and we'll decide later, right? But this is going to be given away. So, um, yeah, so that's it for all of my chitter chatter today. Let me know what you guys are working on. Are you a part of the make along? I see the hashtags being used on Instagram. Thank you so much. Um, oh yeah, and I have a Facebook group. That's also in the details for the make along. Join, join, join. Um, I am working during the day, so I can't reply during the day, but in the evening or on the weekends, You'll see me in that Facebook group. <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much for all of your comments, all of your support, all of your likes. They all help my channel to grow. So I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will talk to you later. Bye.